Hello, I'm Kim Cranston, Executive Director of MOASBO. Every year, the month of December evokes feelings of anticipation, anxiety, and dread for many school finance officials and superintendents across the state. No, I'm not referring to the holidays. I'm referring to the arrival of fiscal note requests in their email boxes. Because these requests are viewed with such a variety of perspectives, we want to take a few minutes to discuss their purpose, the process for their development, who receives them, and management of the requests. We are delighted to have Elliot Usher, Senior Counsel at the Joint Committee on Legislative Research Oversight Division, here to answer our questions and provide some clarity around these fiscal note requests. Thank you, Elliot, for being here. And first of all, would you please explain what the agency is and what it does? Sure. Uh, Kim, the nonpartisan Joint Committee on Legislative Research Oversight Division gives financial information to the Missouri General Assembly. One way we provide financial information is to make fiscal notes for proposed legislation. And the General Assembly is required by law to have a fiscal note before it takes action on a bill. Thanks. So now to make sure we're all operating from the same base of understanding, would you please give us a simple definition of fiscal notes? A fiscal note is a report and it estimates how much a proposed law will cost to implement. The statute requires us to include these six pieces of information. Uh, Section 23.140 uh, RISMO require fiscal notes to include first, the proposed legislation costs for the next two fiscal years. Next, if it duplicates an existing program or agency, uh, also, we're required to, to say if there's a federal mandate for the program, uh, if the law has a significant direct fiscal impact on any state political subdivision, if it will require any new physical facilities, or if there's a small business economic impact. So next, would you explain the process for how they're developed? There are four steps in the process. After a proposed law is introduced, Oversight will contact the agencies we believe will implement the law and we'll ask them how much it costs. Then the agencies respond with an analysis of how much they believe it will cost to implement the law. Sometimes that's a pretty short analysis and sometimes we receive a large spreadsheet with lots of supporting information. After we receive the information, we'll start writing the fiscal note. And if we have any questions, we might ask you for more information before releasing the fiscal note to the General Assembly. Uh, keep in mind, when we contact you, we're just trying to get a good understanding of how you expect a proposal to play out in your district so the General Assembly can have productive and informed conversations about how much a proposal will really cost. That's really helpful. So now that we know their purpose and how they're developed, how are people selected to receive these requests? To determine who weighs in on a proposed law, the analyst reviews the law and then they determine which agencies are probably affected. To do that, we look at similar past legislation to see who was included before. And also, if you believe someone else should receive the legislation, please let us know. We're happy to ask another agency, but we try to be mindful about how much time you spend creating fiscal note responses. If someone wants to be included on the distribution list to receive the fiscal note requests, how would he or she go about doing that? So if we haven't contacted you already, please email us at fiscal.note at lr.mo.gov or go to legislativeoversight.mo.gov to fill out a fiscal note authorization form. If you have any questions, please call us at 573-751-4143. So now let's get to the real challenge for school district personnel, how to manage and respond to fiscal note requests. What is important for these folks to know and do? What is most important is just to respond. Uh, at the very least, if you can respond with a number and hopefully a short explanation for that cost, that can really change how a fiscal note comes out. If you have supporting data to include with your response, that's icing on the cake. It makes our job so much easier and more impactful. And why is it important for people to respond to these requests? So it's important to respond to these requests because you're the most knowledgeable people. You know how your district works, how your program works, and what your staffing levels are. We can sit in the Capitol and we can look up spreadsheets, but the legislators are really looking for your expertise to help figure out how much a proposed law will cost. Thank you so much, Elliot. 
We hope this information is beneficial and helps people have a better understanding of fiscal notes. Thanks for having me come on to talk to you, Kim. Oversight is looking forward to the upcoming legislative session, and we hope you'll help us make substantive fiscal analysis by providing your data. I also want to thank the Missouri School Boards Association for filming and producing this informational video. We value our collaborative relationship with this association. If you have any questions about fiscal notes, please contact me at kcranston at moasbo.org.